Hello, fellow wanderers. I'm Endry, and thank you for joining me as we wander through some more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We uh, basically have free reign of the temple here on Dantooine. So let's take a look around, see if there's any hidden goodies we can find. As you see, a lot of these doors just don't open to anywhere, even though they're here for some reason and architecturally don't make a lot of sense. We can't go much of any place on this place. I really can't remember. Uh, you visit a lot of these same locations in KOTOR 2, and uh, I sometimes get them confused. <laughs> Aritech Mercantile. Named guy there. Protocol droid. Named guy there. The protocol droid. Right? Are you? Yikukuno no ba mulira chikun. This is a general store. Oh, what do you have against Sturka Corp? Ah, Monopoly. Right, they're evil. They're evil corporation. Uh, how's it gotten worse? What do you have for sale? So is he right? Does he have stuff we won't find anywhere else? Well, yes, he's correct. There are some uh, unique items here. Uh, 3 to 12 blade with uh, plus 3 ion. And it is balanced with attack modifier plus 2. That's a really good weapon. The blaster rifle, 1 to 8 energy, with an another bonus damage against droids with a plus 3 attack modifier and upgradable. Also very nice. Uh, yeah. That's a heck of a stealth field generator. Interface band, increases computer use, demolition, security, uh, resist five versus sonic, also very nice. Breath mask, makes you immune to poison, decent to have. Infiltrator gloves, plus four security, plus four computer use, plus one dexterity. I mean, this guy has a lot of actually really good stuff. Uh, strength enhancer. Combat implant, immunity to critical hits, plus one awareness. So, yeah. Uh, remember him. All right, and this is our droid supplier. So he has medium plating, heavy plating. That's defense nine. Hmm. So that's expensive. That is not very expensive. So yeah, we got some upgrades here for our droid. So this is an environment shield. It uh, is the improved version of the energy shield. Worker security interface tool, sensor pro, basic tardy computer. Uh, we should probably look at upgrading these in a bit. I'm not that worried about them right now. What can we sell? Don't need that. I don't need a heavy combat suit. I don't need a basic vibro sword. I don't think I need a basic blaster pistol either. Uh, I don't care about the disruptor pistols to be honest. Don't need a second ion rifle. I don't need a second disruptor rifle. And we can hold on to the rest of this. Uh, we're going to re-equip all of our people eventually, but uh, not for the moment. We've got a little bit to do first, to be honest. Now, who are you? You're another Twi'lek. Uh, what would you like to ask? I have no idea. 
Takom juice tak me. Of Mandalorian to comment on Dantooine? Ka chi kun ida Uh, anything of interest that you could tell me about? Takom juice tak me. Large urban center. Tolpa da bongwa. Yeah, if we go out and explore Dantooine, there's some stuff out there. And uh, I'll keep an eye out for her. Takom juice. I like how we're just called sentience. We're not called humans. And what would you like, uh, Isra? I came here with Bastila. Uh, we work together to escape, Taurus. May the force be with me indeed. All right, so the Jedi Council wants to say hi to me. Hello, unnamed Jedi. Are you the one who talked to me before? I wish you a pleasant stay. Yeah, you are. What is this way? Ah, that's how you get to Dantooine. The proper area of Dantooine. Good to know. I think if we go over here, we'll find the Jedi quarters, let's say. Yeah, so this is where we'll find some Jedi students. Achuta, Wonga Kun. Oh no, traveler. Uh, not right now. Mujish. I do not feel like Pazak. That was lead to nowhere. Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak with the council, not some servant. Please leave, or I shall be forced to tell the council of your rude behavior. He seems friendly. Except not. Ah, oh, a footlocker. Eh, I'll take it. Take what I can get. Alright, I'm still walking around with this bowcaster. Oh, I've got to look quite the sight with a Wookiee bowcaster as my primary weapon. Not a very uh, traditional weapon, I would say. Ah, there's the training room. We'll be going in there automatically, I believe. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. Well, they seem to be searching for something. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. Oh, well, they're assuming a lot. I trust in your greater wisdom. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force, and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. You've seen I'm joined with her? You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? I am ready for whatever awaits me. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their dark lord. Jedi are trained to the dark side. The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, 
and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of, once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. All right. The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. As you wish. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited, and your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. like that little uh, training montage, but my potential is unlimited, and I learned this very quickly. It's like I've learned this before. Hmm. Well, what must I do? In the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. All right, what kind of tests are these? These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. All right. So, I believe we go to this panel right here. Uh... Book of Senshin is important for the peace and harmony of all beings that the many paths of the Jedi Order be understood. Only through knowledge can see the truth, but all see the truth of the Force. Jedi Guardians trained for battle, seek for physical prowess, Counselors seek to master the awesome power of the Force, and Sentinels seek to find a balance. We're going for Counselor, so uh, let's go with Jedi Counselor. Seek balance to the universe, uh, focus less on physical combat and more on mental disciplines in order to augment their master of the Force. Basic class attributes, 6 vitality per level, 8 force points, slow skill progression, slow feet progression. They're wizards. We're good. That's not actually what I wanted. Uh, did you give me the Jedi data pad that tells me about Jedi? Not. All right. So there should be a training computer around here somewhere. Actually tells me about the Jedi Order. Hmm. Interesting. Well, greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has. Uh, I'm ready to continue my training. Well, let's ask some questions about Raven and Malak. 
Few mention those names around here anymore, but I suppose it is just as dangerous to deny they were ever part of the Order. When I was still on Coruscant, Revan and Malak often came to me for additional training. In particular, Revan's hunger to learn seemed insatiable. I should have recognized this as a warning sign. But I perceive the young Padawan's lust for knowledge as simple exuberance and eagerness. Revan was my most promising pupil. One I felt sure would someday become a champion of the Jedi Order. And then what happened? The Jedi Order moved too slowly for Revan and Malak. We were too cautious in their eyes. They always sought to learn far quicker than their masters felt was prudent. It is one thing to understand a lesson. But to truly comprehend it takes a wisdom that only comes with time. Several years ago, when the Mandalorian threat first arose, Revan and Malak were eager to journey to the Outer Rim to defeat the enemy of the Republic. But the Council felt it best if we moved with care and caution. The true threat, the Council feared, had not yet revealed itself. But Revan would not be dissuaded. Charismatic and powerful, it was inevitable many of the Order would flock to Revan's seemingly noble cause. Malak was the first to join his closest friend. Others soon followed, many of our youngest and brightest, intent on saving the galaxy from the Mandalorian threat. And, uh, they disobeyed the Jedi Council. They were foolish to disregard the Council's wishes. I do not know what happened to Revan, Malak, and their followers on the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim, but something corrupted them. Their ideals became twisted, their spirits were tainted, and they fell to the dark side. There is a lesson in this, a lesson you would do well to take to heart. The dark side can corrupt even the most noble of Jedi. I will heed the lesson well. You have learned much. Yet there is much more for you to still understand. The way of the Jedi must be entered into with a clear and focused mind. When you feel that you are ready to continue your training, know that you can find me here. All right, let's do our training. Greetings, my young pupil. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan. We heard this. In the traditions and customs of... We heard this. I'm ready for the tests. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given. We've heard this. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi yep. Code. You must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code by completing these fundamental precepts of our Order. There is no emotion. Oh boy, I've forgotten the Jedi Code. Uh, there is no emotion. There is peace? There is no ignorance. Hmm. I really don't remember this. There is no... There is no... There is no... You have learned your studies well, Apprentice. Uh. <laughs> it will not be long before you are a full member of our order. But first... You must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi, the very symbol of our order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. I am absolutely amazed that I guessed those correctly. Because you do have to get them right. Alright, let's get a lightsaber built, shall we? Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Uh, what colors are there? Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat 
and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Uh, I want to be a counselor. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Stop the thugs and find out why they are attacking her. Hmm. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Attack him again. Find out why he turned the dark side and try to turn him. Try to see what he his technique. I'm going to try and turn him. Yes, I suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? Match the door, pick the lock, or knock. We're going to knock. I am beginning to see a pattern here, apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Hunt them down, lure them in a trap, coordinate with the planetary government to identify the infiltrators. We're going to coordinate with the government. Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Consular. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to? Apprentice. Green! Here is a green crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again, and he will instruct you on how to construct it. Yeah, the options are pretty obvious for which one is which. Oh, oh, right. We're actually leveling as a Jedi Counselor now. Good. All right, we're going to up Wisdom. That's fine. Um, Our skills... Right, we get one point, so we're going to keep going with Persuade. Feats. We have Weapon Fishing Lightsaber, Jedi Defense, Force Focus, Jedi Sense, Force Sensitive. Check those out in a bit. Force Sensitive. This just gives us 40 additional points. Dually, we know what that is. Jedi Sense. Make sure the force allows them. Plus two defense is always active. Force focus. Plus one to difficulty class of all saving throws because character's force powers. It's always active. Um, Jedi defense. With a lightsaber, you can deflect attacks. Pretty neat. Weapon for melee weapons. Weapon for see lightsaber. Here we'll get our weapon of focus lightsaber at some point. Uh, there's all our blaster stuff again. Critical Strike, there's our armor proficiencies. Uh, I think for the moment, though, I think let's get uh, let's get Weapon Focus Lightsaber for now. And our powers. What do we want to do? Well, <laughs> These are dark. There's dark side powers down here. Let's not pick those, shall we? Uh, that stuns droids. That stuns people. Effect mines. Uh, I'm going to grab effect mine. Let me get those. We get a lot of powers as a uh, counselor, by the way. And we've got some levels to uh, get here. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, our skills are now neutered. Uh, we get one more power, so we've gotten that one. Energy resistance is pretty nice. Force resistance is restricted by armor. Force of Valor. Increases the physical attributes of saving throws to the Jedi and all party members by two points. Uh, I think I'm going to play more 
buffing character. Uh, let's get here, shall we? Hey, and that's all the levels we've got. Yeah. Oh, you need to level up. And two points left. We'll just pop that into. So why not? Actually, we have the droid now. We're gonna pop those into injury. And you got another sneak attack. Excellent. You had a few levels to get up your decks. Of course, we're gonna. Last time. It's fine. Oh, where do you want to put your feet? That's a good question. We're gonna max out. Duelist. You? And now we're gonna level you up. Um, I wanna do dexterity for you. Pop those up. That's fine. What? All right, let's go make a lightsaber, folks. Uh, not too difficult. Oh, can't make it yet. Hold on. Talk to this guy. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. I just kind of know how to make one. Uh, we don't know anything about these. Uh, we'll be getting more of those later, but let's assemble it. Yep, we're no longer going to be blaster focused, people. We are going to be lightsaber focused. All right, let's talk to him. You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. These crystals are very rare found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. Yes, yes they do. And the first time I've made a lightsaber. Oh, that's cute. Uh, but yes, there are crystals on Dantooine. We'll be getting those. One of the things I like about KOTOR, uh, as far as the game went and how it influenced the RPG, because uh, there was RPGs that came out for this, the 3rd edition RPG and the Saga edition and all that kind of stuff. When well, they put KOTOR in to those editions, they added these lightsaber crystals, and I really like them from a mechanical standpoint. Uh, but we'll get into those as we find them. Uh, I can find crystals on the Antwine? It is a rumor only. I do not know if there's any truth in it, but you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect, and the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? I need more time to prepare myself. You have learned much. When you feel that... I'm curious about something. I'll have to check later. I can't remember if uh, you can get a weapon finesse in this one for lightsabers. I didn't look. Oh well, let's go. Greetings. I'm ready to continue my training. For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove, once used for deep meditation by the Jedi, is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cathhounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers, a threat the Jedi have promised to stop. What would you have me do? The Cathhounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. 
You have any other guidance? I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the Dark Path are not always lost forever. The Dark Side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the Dark Side has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the Force be with you. All right, well, we're going to toss it a save here, and uh, next time, we're going to go complete our Jedi training. But until then, have fun, stay safe, everyone.